Good morning and welcome to the Crafty Canary for your tip on Tuesday. Today I'm going to give you a little tip about how to get the remnants of a candle that's been used out of your candle holder. Now if you can tell this is a little frosty because I've had it in the freezer. So once the candle is burnt down to the very end, of course after it cools down because you don't want to crack your candle holder, but put it in the freezer, leave it for a day or two, and then you can take a, just a regular knife. Now, this is one of my good knives. I really should buy like a cheap one from Dollar Tree or something just to use for this. I tried a plastic knife, but it does not work. So you want a sturdy knife, uh, sturdy butter knife, but I wouldn't suggest using your good one. So do as I say, not as I do in this case, but you wanna take that knife and just go in there and Fry it out. And see, that one came out completely whole. It doesn't always do that, but for, well, I've still got a little bit in there for the most part, but it was unattached. And now I can put this in the dishwasher, again, after it warms up because I don't wanna crack my candle holder, but I can put that one in the dishwasher, clean it, and put a new candle in it. I did one earlier today that's a little bit bigger. This one I usually put a double wick candle or two candles in. Um, it, I bought it from the store and it was a double wick candle and when it ran out, I did that. I put it in the freezer, got it out, and now I'm able to use it with my own votives. And so I just put two votives in there and use it sort of like a double wick candle. But I did this one earlier. It took a little bit more um, getting out. It didn't just pop out in one, but once I did it, I was able to get most of it out. And the rest of that will come out when I wash it. That one I hand wash because it's not dishwasher safe. But I hope that quick tip is helpful for you. If you love this channel, would you please subscribe and tell all your friends on social media? Be sure to look and follow at me on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook, I am Crafty Canary. And on Instagram, I'm the.crafty.canary. Thanks so much and see you next time.